Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about X-linked disorder but that subscribe my channel. So X-linked disorders are disorders transmitted by X chromosome and not by the autosomes. I am coming towards each of these points listed here. Now come to our right board. As you all know, the normal human chromosomal constitution is 46XX and in male is 46XY. Out of this 46XX, 44 are autosomes. Autosomes mean body chromosome. They have nothing to do with sex chromosome. And two chromosome in female, 2X are basically sex chromosome. And in male, 44 are autosomes and 1X and 1Y are basically sex chromosome. Now read the point number 1 that X-linked disorders are transmitted by X chromosome and not the autosomes. Now I think uh, it should be clear that what are X chromosomes and what are autosomes. Now going towards point number 2 that mother can transfer this disorder into daughter as well as son. And 50% of daughters will get affected and 50% of sons will get affected. So according to the point number 2, if the mother is affected, so I am representing affected X chromosome of mother by this black dot. Now I already made the checkerboard. Now I am now I am placing mother chromosomes and father chromosomes in a checkerboard. Now what will be the result? X multiplied by X is XX. X multiplied by disease X is X disease X. X multiplied by Y is XY. And X multiplied by disease Y is X diseased and Y. So what will be the result? The result is clear that 50% of the daughters will get affected and 50% of sons while 50% of daughters will remain normal and 50% of sons will remain normal. So the chances are of 50-50 in both cases of daughters and son. Now coming towards the point number 3, point number 3 states that Father can transfer the disease chromosome into daughters but not to the sons. Read carefully. 100% daughters will get affected and 0% sons will get affected. Now, understanding it on the whiteboard. So, if the problem is with father X chromosome, I am representing it with a dot. Then again, make the checkerboard. And placing the mother and father chromosome. Here mother, here father. What will be the result? This will be the result. For, and the result is 100% of the doctors will get affected and 0% of the sons will get affected if the problem of X chromosome is with father. Now coming back to our original slide. Now I am reading point number four that daughters with one diseased X chromosome become carrier and will not manifest the disease. Going back to the whiteboard. So according to the point the daughter with one diseased X chromosome just become carrier. And why carrier? Cause daughters have two X chromosome and one disease chromosome does not manifest as full blown disease. Daughters require at least two sets of diseased chromosome to get the full blown disease. And the son required just one copy of diseased X chromosome to get the disease. Why? Because son have only one X chromosome and other Y chromosome. 
so at least one x normal x chromosome is necessary to become a carrier now i am reading point number 5 and in point number 5 it is written that daughters with two diseased x chromosome manifest full disease as i already told you if the daughter have one diseased x chromosome daughter will become carrier and if the daughter has two diseased x chromosome daughter will develop full blown disease point number 6 manif states that sons with one diseased x chromosome develop full blown disease i think the concept is clear if you have any question ask me in comment i am very very fast in replying and thank you so much